You know, we were talking earlier here uh, as we were filming that there's different fears. And one of the biggest fears people have in this hour is fear of money, fear of the lack of it. Is money going to be here? There's so many people saying that, you know, buy gold, bury food, do this. I mean, it's all over the place. And I'm not telling you what to do, but I do know that God is either the provision and the provider or he's not. And you need to be wise. If God is telling you to buy gold, you need to do it. Or, but you just need to make sure it's not fear. Because self-protection and self-provision, uh, it will just run through your hands. But one of the ways we can tell we're free from a spirit of fear in, in Psalms 112, verse 5, it says, A good man deals graciously and lends, and he will guide his affairs with discretion. So can I say this? An evil man, one that is full of fear, we can say it the opposite way, deals ungraciously, does not lend, and guides his affairs with no discretion. He has no discernment. Fear skews your generosity, and when your generosity is cut off, you can't give, and when you can't give, you can't harvest what you need, and so fear has stolen your future. Fear has stolen your dream. Uh, I'll be honest with you. The reason I take offerings everywhere I go is because it's an opportunity to release people's future so they can dream again. And people say, oh, he's just after the money. No, I'm after their dream. And I know that if they don't have finances, you can't dream. You can dream. I have many people do this. They say, would you pray for me so that I can go to Israel? Well, even to this day, and I've been to Israel over 37 times, it's, I still have to sow a seed and believe God for the finances to come in because by the time I take my whole family to Israel, it's thousands of dollars. And, you know, it's not something that, Everyone thinks, well, he just has a tour company. He, no, it's, we still have to work, and, and we still have to, there's a certain amount of pain. And uh, so we're going to Africa now, and so we had to sow a seed, and, and now the money has come in so that we can go and help Bishop. So it, it's, it's amazing how you have to deal graciously, but also with discretion. You can't just guilt give here and there. No, you have to sow into the purpose of what God has given you, and that comes from being free from fear. So here's a specific prayer, and I'm only going to do this once in this whole series, is I break that assignment of that orphan spirit that makes mammon king. Mammon is money, that spirit of mammon, mammon. That's a bale spirit and a bale structure, and I cut that bale spirit off and that mammon spirit, I cut it off now, in the name of Yeshua. This will be one of the most important PowerPoints in regards to money. I cut it off. It will not influence the way you deal with people. It will not influence your discretion. It will set you free so that when it's time to sow, you do it in Yeshua's name. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.